Hi everybody, this is Adam Ellenboss from Nightlight Astrology. It's Monday, October 8th, and I'm making a series of videos today for this week's astrology because I'm going to be out of town. There's a bunch of big transits happening this week, and I'm trying to give them uh, each their fair uh, share of, of coverage because uh, I will be gone and I want my normal readers and listeners to have something to check out. Okay, so uh, the last one that I'm doing here is with regard to the... Uh, Sun square to Pluto. So Sun square Pluto is happening this week. Um, it will be happening on the 11th. So if we move this forward one day, you'll see there's the Sun square Pluto. Sun in Libra, Pluto in Capricorn. Very basically, the Sun is sort of representative of kings, rulers, people who are in charge, the CEO, the, the ruling intelligence of, of the mind um, that's sort of higher than the mind, but rules over the mind. Um, connected in some level to the ego, sometimes a sense of action and purpose in the world. So when it squares Pluto, Lord of death and rebirth, the underworld, you can go through a period where your sense of purpose and direction can change quite radically. Your, um, your relation with teachers, people who are in power, bosses or authority figures can be challenged or strained. Your own power or authority can be challenged or strained, just like your own ego can go through a bit of a death and rebirth process. This is also a great moment for deep aha moments. The sun is a planet of enlightenment, so sun square Pluto can also be a very enlightening experience, but expect that things may come up that, uh, you know, the enlightenment may be humbling. Um, so that's part of it. Um, you also want to look at the, the difference between sort of uh, evaluating, judging things mentally and rationally and um, uh, this idea of fairness, balance, justice, truth, harmony, beauty, and then um, the, the realism, tradition, authority, respect, hard work, discipline, duty. Um, you know, have you ever had a teacher that's just been brutally honest and you've been like, oh, that wasn't very nice. That wasn't very nice. But on some levels, if our egos are, are set up to always defend and protect ourselves against anything true by saying like, oh, anything true isn't nice, how far will we get, right? So this is um, potentially a time where truth and niceness are at odds on some level. <laughs> um, they're trying to figure out how to do both at once. It's possible, of course, to be kind, tactful, compassionate, and real with each other. There's a vanity in Libra, right, that is just as bad and just as, you know, it's, it suffers from too much nice, nice, just as much as Pluto and Capricorn can suffer from too much brutal, hard, cold, domineering sort of realism. So those two things are a bit uh, tense with one another, the, those qualities this week. So navigating those within yourself, within your relationships, um, remember not to hold anyone to a standard that you yourself are not holding yourself accountable to. So sort of look at this uh, plank in your own eye before plucking the splinter from someone else. Um, the demand for uh, justice, truth, fairness, balance, equality um, is fine. But remember, as I said in another video, this world is generally speaking, not equal. There's not like equality is an ideal that we shoot for, but it's not necessarily the material reality of things. So how do we, balance truth in the material sense a real honest evaluation of what the material world is like what things are really like here versus what we wish they would be like or what we aspire to have them be like uh, those kinds of things uh, again in a pretty tense dynamic all week from today's new moon onward so uh, this is just a quick one i've already said some about sun square pluto in the first uh video that i did on the new moon so you can check out i think all in all there's four videos i did for this week so hopefully this is interesting gives you some good things to think about um for this square moon still going to be in scorpio so this week's moon in scorpio is kind of a it's a heavy hitter it's a big one a lot of stuff going to be coming up that tone the rest of the entire moon cycle because of that moon in scorpio uh, that goes along with venus retrograde in scorpio and so forth so all right, that's what I've got for you guys. And I hope you have a very good week. I look forward to being back with you next week. Take care. Bye.